Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one, I'm going to show you a dropshipping product, an absolutely brilliant dropshipping product, the perfect kind of last minute winner for Christmas if you're still looking for something to back, looking for something to build a business behind. So I discovered this using one of my favorite product research methods, which is on flipper.com. Um, I won't bore you with the ins and outs in this video, but perhaps if you want to see a proper breakdown of how I use it to find products like this, just leave a comment down below and I can get around to doing that. So I discovered this product, this product, this brand, this store called BMO or BMO. Um, this is the product they're selling. We'll take a deeper, a more in-depth look at the product and where you can source it later on. Um, but in summary, the site age is in is two months. Um, they did ninety thousand dollars of revenue with solely this product, with a profit margin of seventeen thousand dollars. So the numbers pretty much speak for themselves. This is definitely a brilliant product for Q4 for Christmas because it's a gift that a parent or grandparent would buy for their child. However, the average, at least on my own experience, selling on Facebook now for um, nearly seven years, that it tends to be females over the age of forty-five, even a bit older actually, probably fifty, fifty-five plus that tend to be the keenest buyers on Facebook. They tend to be the people who want to spoil their grandparents, so they're going to be buying teddy bears and things like this um, all year round, not just for Christmas, but of course um, it's going to be emphasised and increased um, around Christmas time. So this is a brilliant opportunity for anybody who wants to get into these types of products and this type of niche for a number of reasons really. So these guys, they've only been in business for two months. Um, this is their Facebook page. This is legit the Facebook page they've been running these Facebook ads from. I'll be going into more depth and showing you these ads um, and breaking it down later on in the video. But I just want to give you a quick overview of how kind of, I don't like using the word easy because business is never easy, but they clearly haven't put that much time or attention into building a brand and branding the product. They've just thrown together a store, thrown together a Facebook page, and then $90,000 revenue in two months. Like the results speak for themselves. So it just goes to show what the potential for this product could potentially be if you did put together a branded Shopify store, a proper Facebook page and post and all that good stuff. Hey, sorry to interrupt your video. I'll be super, super quick on this. 20 to 30 seconds of your time. I just want to make you aware of this. So this is an ebook that I put together myself. It's a 12 month supply of 127 vetted winning products ideas that are working right now. The products separated by time of year. So whether you pick this up now in three months time, six months time, nine months time, you'll have a list of proven products that are going to work because they are backed by data. It's 100% free. It's an instant download as well. There's no dodgy funnel or videos you have to watch. Stick your name in, stick your email address in, and it will be in your inbox in the next 30 seconds. To grab a copy of this, check out the top link in the video description below. Thanks. So some quick information in about the store, just to give you some kind of context. Um, they have multiple stores running simultaneously and love testing out new products and concepts. So by the sound of it, they just like throwing up Shopify stores with new products that they come across, um, testing the waters to see how it works, milking it for as much as possible, and then dumping the stores on flipper.com for sale. That sounds like the strategy they're adopting rather than actually building out a brand for the product, sourcing it in bulk quantities, private labeling it, and building a more sustainable business for the long term. So what's involved in running this business? Uh, marketing channels, so products are literally managing Facebook ads um, to target and retarget customers. Um, so the business has been, by the sounds of it, purely built on using Facebook ads. So anybody who says Facebook ads are dead, they clearly do not know what they're talking about. Um, Facebook and Instagram combined, I think it's like seven or eight times the size of TikTok. So Facebook ads is still, at least in my opinion, the most superior social media platform to be advertising on. Apart from that, the typical things you'd expect for any dropshipping business, so supplier relations, customer service, store management, all that sort of thing. I wanna jump onto the Facebook ads library um, just to show the ads that they're running. So you can see, look, the name of the page and the logo and then to actually jump on the Facebook page, it's the same logo, this is the Facebook page. So I can go to about, I can go to page transparency, um, I can, so this page is currently running ads, I can go to ad library. So it must still be working because they've still got the ads active, like they wouldn't be paying to run this product, um, advertise this product unless they um, weren't still seeing a return. So this is still a product that has potential now. And like I said, I think something that probably has potential all year, next year, um, certainly into Christmas um, of 2024. The reason I wanted to show you this though is because it highlights like the most important aspect to your dropshipping business is 100% your product. Like most people won't actually come onto your Facebook page and look at what's on your Facebook page. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't give it the time and attention to put get together a nice logo, make sure the name makes sense, do some relevant posts and that sort of thing. Because 
Anybody who clicks on one of these ads and comes to this Facebook page and sees this amazing sunset, how beautiful and how it just has no relevance and it doesn't look like a legitimate business at all, it's obviously gonna put those people off, but it's reflected in the sales. Most people clearly don't come to a Facebook page, otherwise they wouldn't be able to do 90K in sales. They just see the ad, they like the product, they go to the Shopify store, which to be fair, it's like your textbook kind of e-commerce dropshipping type Shopify store, but again, they don't care. There's over 250 reviews, which is high enough to not be considered an amount that somebody would fake. If you saw like half a dozen reviews, most people would probably be willing to spend 10 minutes writing half a dozen reviews, but there's not many people who's gonna write 278 fake reviews, so it gives off more of an impression that it's actually real. Now, I'm not saying by no means that these are fake reviews, I don't know. What I'm saying is that the more more reviews you have on your store, the more legitimate it's going to come across. If you've been in the dropshipping space a while, you'll know this is a similarish type of product to this one here, which was a proven seven figure product. If I can get rid of all these pop ups, and I don't know if you'll be able to hear that, but it's basically a really annoying elephant that sings this hideous tune. But because it has the flapping ears, it's quite interactive. And because it is high pitched and annoying, kids love it. This is a variation of that exact same thing. So if we look at these gifts, the gifts are absolutely brilliant. Um, babies, young um, toddlers, young kids um, will absolutely love this, I think. Um, it makes them smile, it makes them laugh. And as a parent and as a grandparent, that's what you want to do for your kids. So it's just the perfect perfect product in my opinion to use a platform like facebook to sell it on so as we can see the shopify store is very basic the logos don't even match if we go back to their facebook page so people are willing to look past that thing if you have a product that is just so good that they must have so they're selling the product for one unit for $40, two units for $65. I found, I could only find one supplier to be fair, this is still a relatively new product. Um, this times like this where it will pay to have a really good agent because they'll be able to, they'll have a whole database, a whole list of different warehouses and manufacturers that they work with and they will 100% be able to source it for you so you haven't got to go to AliExpress. I would stay away from AliExpress in fact, but we can use it to give us kind of like the ballpark numbers of what it's gonna cost us um, to source this. So we can see 18.52 in euros, which is about 15 pounds. They're selling it for about 35 pounds. So there's that 20 pounds of room in there that I always speak about um, as a minimum for any products that you're gonna consider advertising. So if it was me and I was gonna take this product to market, then I would definitely, I would try and throw something together super, super quick um, over the course of this weekend. Come in to get your ads live next week and try and make the most of the following couple of weeks um, if you can, of course, source it that quickly and deliver it to your customers. After that, I'd probably just shut things down and I would take two or three weeks really fine tuning the store, the brand, content, logos, making sure everything marries up nicely so that mid Jan end of Jan time next year, you've got a really professional looking business um, and place yourself and picture yourself by the design of the store and the name of your store as the original creators and manufacturers of this product. I cannot emphasize enough how powerful it is to be one of the first people to bring a product to a platform like Facebook. There's so much competition out there that when you have a brilliant product that people want to buy and you are the first person they've seen selling it, then that is just like the golden recipe. And with that being said there guys, that is the end of today's video. But before you go, if you're still watching, then you're probably quite serious about starting a dropshipping business. Um, I have a gift for you, a completely free gift that might be of interest. Um, so the average person like watches my videos for like three minutes. If you're still watching, then you're probably quite serious about building a legitimate dropshipping business that can actually provide you with an income to impact your life for the better um, and for the foreseeable as well. If that is you, then you are the exact person that I want to work with. That is why I'm telling you now at the end of the video. I didn't put it in at the beginning because I don't want every man and his dog booking in a call with me. It's gonna waste my time. I only want to work with those people who are serious. So and if you're still watching this video, then you probably are serious. If that sounds good and of interest to you, then I wanna invite you to book a free, 100% free, no obligation call with me. Um, we can have a chat about where you are now, what your current experience is, where you wanna be in two to three months time and see if I can be the person to actually help you get there. If that sounds good to you, what you need to do is below this video, I'm just gonna like my own one, below this video in the video description, click this more button, and then at the bottom what you'll see here is a secret link. Click this link, it's gonna take you to the page where you answer a few questions, again, just about your current situation, and then at the end, it will show you my 
diary and it will show you the times and dates I've put to the side in which you can book in a call with me. Find something that suits you um, and like I said, I'll see you on that call um, and we can have that friendly chat. Thanks for watching the videos guys and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.